Well, good morning, Mark. This is Thought for the Day. And now, sorry, Thought for the Day, Thought for the Week. It's the end of the week, and I want to know, what do you think? Bad guys versus good guys. I think the bad guys actually seem to think they're the good guys for some reason. (laughs) They're really not. (laughs) So the bad guys identify as good guys. Well, they're the rules these days. You can identify as anything you like. Well, I'm identifying as an assassin. And I want to assassinate so many different people's characters. Can we identify them as morons? Yes. Oh, brilliant. They might not actually like that, but it doesn't matter, does it? Because we can just do what we like. Because if we want to criticize the government, Rishi says we can do that. Well, they've been doing the opposite of what we've asked them to for how long, so... Indeed, indeed. Well, let's go with the big story. You're going to deliver it. Go ahead, quick. Yay, open the champagne. Theresa May's gone. Well, she's going. (laughs) Or she will be gone. (laughs) She wasn't very good as a Home Secretary. It wasn't very good. That's an understatement. (laughs) Do you think she was even worse as a PM? Shocking, mate. She She was probably the worst Home Secretary ever. Look at the police now, mate. Whoa. And we can blame her for that one. She, and again, she refused to deal with Islamic Jihad and just went after the symptoms real hard. And then obviously, the state of Brexit. Wow, what a legacy. Well, here's another bad guy. Creepy plans for AI to listen in to your NHS appointments and automatically generate notes. <laughs> mm. I will go for it. When I hear what Rishi's notes are, I want to know. And Starmer's notes are. I want to listen in to those when he goes to the NHS. Supposedly, if they go to the NHS, because I think they both go private. What what are they going to do with these notes? Are these going to be used to pass to the doctor? Well, the AI doesn't get it right. I want the AI. I want the AI to be infiltrated by people like us so that we can say... Put Rishi <laughs> in hospital for I'm mental possibly. anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> he has a mental problem. Yes, we agree. It's called cowardice. Yes. A mental, a mental problem. <laughs> well, obviously, mm-hmm. Rishi, now knowing that May is going, let's put it this way. He's going to be trying to kill off rumors that there's going to be an early election. May in May. Possibly. <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? Who were the biggest losers this week in the spring budget? Oh, the public again. <laughs> <laughs> You're just umbrella in everybody. Yeah, as well, yeah, everyone. Pensioners. Pensioners. Yeah. Do oh. you know, because... You're such a young, skinny guy. You're going to live for such a long time. You're in the early 40s. Great voice. You know, you got a great future ahead of you. You're not going to be able to claim your pension until you're 80. (laughs) (laughs) So if I make it that far. (laughs) Can you imagine them turning around, you know, when you die and saying, obviously you won't be claiming your pension. So everything that you paid in is going to go. To everybody you else. Do, like when you're 79, are you going to stick it on a building site for a year? <laughs> Got up your contributions. I'm going to be uh, one of those hot carriers. I was just about to say, yeah. I, I, I do really good at that because when I get to the top there, as soon as I see anybody down on the floor that I don't like, the bricks are going to accidentally fall off. <laughs> at least you can identify as that wall you're always on about. Yes. Yeah. I now identify as a wall, a brick wall. And you're now speaking to it. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. I don't know. Are are the bad guys winning? I think so. I mean, when you look at what's going on with the army as well, it's not getting any better. Apparently, there's a massive black hole in the MOD. You don't know where they're getting the money from. And now you've got SAS soldiers facing charges for shooting jihadis. Uh, Here we go again, John, with the soft on the jihad thing. Forget it. Literally in Syria to tackle jihadis and he shot one because he thought he was a risk with a suicide belt he didn't have it on at the time but it was in the building he ran away from yeah but he did have a belt it doesn't matter he did yeah any dead jihadi is a good jihadi correct get rid of them (laughs) 
I know, what, what world are we living in? Right, go over there. I'm going to fight some Jardis, but you've just got to arrest them. Right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great. And the geopolitical signs, Biden versus Trump. It's Big like updates. Rematch, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think they both unanimously uh, won their, um, what do you call it, nominations. Nominations? Is that the word? <laughs> In God we trust. Yes, I believe we've been commended by President Trump. Well, I believe he listens now and again. Well, the thing is, I watched a video where a guy did a he did a breakdown. So he tried to roughly work out the electoral college vote based on the most recent polls for each state. And it's a landslide for Trump. He was like 314 to Biden's 220 something. Wow. So, if it, I mean, they're just polls, obviously, but it'd be nice. Then again, the polls said that Hillary Clinton was 100% or 98% chance of winning about five minutes before she lost. <laughs> so, we'll see. And what are the chances of the Raven coming up? Well, we're actually closing the door on him. He's decided to go. He's flown the coop. What are the chances of the Raven getting back in? I'm taking away all... I'm changing the locks. Do it. <laughs> Get it in. Bin bag him. <laughs> <laughs> Bin bag, son. <laughs> yes. And you're going to have to actually just sit on the outer edges. Mm. What are you going to do, Rave? Rave, 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 rave. He'll have to. He'll have to protest like the farmers. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, talk about escalate, them. It's escalating, especially in Poland. Literally now, the police are being set on them. So that's nice. Talk about don't bite the hand that feeds you. Well, don't bite them. Hit them with sticks instead. Excellent. Idiots. Idiots. Yeah, never going to backfire. Is it for? Is it Tusk? Mm. What about that Jewish guy that's on Speaker's Corner fighting to get heard? With all yeah. those uh, Muslim people there, and they were th- th- those Muslim people were threatening him physically with violence, and there were police standing there doing nothing. It happens every week. He's there every week, and he's not the only one. You had Hassan, who's been attacked numerous times and stabbed, and had to go into hiding for a bit. Just mobs of them set on people every every Sunday at Speaker's Corner, and nothing ever happens. Don't they realize these people that they're a minority? And that when the majority turn, the true definition of the meaning minority is going to hit home. Yeah, but they don't feel like a minority at the minute, do they? No, it's because they're very vocal. No, that's a lot it. of oxygen. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, do we think that the bad guys have won this week? Because my thought, you know, for the day, for the week, is the bad guys are a little bit up on the point scale. Possibly. I mean, we keep hearing things that sound good, like the government are now considering, you know, banning the Muslim Council of Britain. Yeah. But, I mean, Labour cut ties with them in 2009, and the government actually did the same in 2015. Yet here we are, eight, nine years later. And they're still there. Uh, we could do this, and we might do this. Mm. Yeah. Had enough. Had enough. Well, I'm sorry to end this week on a negative... But we are hopeful. In God we negative. trust. It's not that negative. Sharia May is leaving. So. <laughs> Sharia May. Yeah. God, she was awful. <laughs> All right. Bad, okay. Apparently, you know, listening to the media, the best bit of her uh, whole thing was uh, a speech about the Queen. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. What a legacy. What Here a we legacy. go. What a legacy. Well, thank you once again for your input on that and your knowledge because you are knowledgeable, Stats. I reckon you know more than any of those other people you know, from those other podcasts. So everybody subscribe to Cheshire Matters. Yes. Here we go. I'm, I'm fading now. This is very professional. It is. Smooth. <laughs>